Okay, so let's continue with our discussion on data visualization uh, and let's discuss a little bit more about uh, our categorical uh, charts that we're working on. Okay, so we've got a pie chart. And one of the nice things about pie charts is that we can quickly determine proportions uh, of your groups. So if we did a survey and we were trying to figure out how many men and how many women were in the survey, we said this was the men and this is the women, we can instantly say, even from this rough pie chart, you know, roughly what the proportions are. We look at this and the women are, oh, right about at 75%, and the men are roughly at 25%. Now, I could have given you just the numbers, but, but this visualization helps us put them into context. Now, we can also do a very similar thing with the pie chart, or with the data that produces us the pie chart, but we could also do this with a what's called a bar chart. Bar chart. The nice thing about bar charts is that we can either use frequency or percentage on the y-axis. So here we've got our axes, we put gender here. Gender, we have male. We have female, and we could do just a simple bar going up and bar going up. So we see that the men are about at 25%, women are at about 75%. One nice thing though about the bar chart that we can do is we can also, we could break this down uh, into groups. So let's say that we also measured um, Oh, we, we could also measure the hair color, whether or not you were a redhead. And we wanted to know, okay, can we break this down further? Now, if I asked you in here, like, what's the percentage of women who were redhead? And you'd be like, I don't know. But we can actually calculate this out. So, and we can visualize it better with the bar chart. So what we could do is put them either side by side or we can stack them. I'm going to show stacked right now. But in the bar charts, often you'll see something like this where we have a line and then it'd be shaded in here. And then we'd have a line here and it would be shaded in here. And we'd say that, okay, so these blue ones, those would be uh, not red and then these top guys we'll color them in orange those ones would be redheads and we can see that within the groups there was a higher proportion of men who were redheads than of the women who were redheads just by looking at these stacks now this is really easy to do with bar charts and I'll, I'll show, I'll demonstrate that uh, with inside of our R commander commands. Uh, but these both are very common ways uh, in order to, um, to communicate our categorical data very quickly. Pie charts can quickly give us a grasp of proportions and then the bar chart can do that as well but also add in comparison by groups.